In a bid to motivate and encourage their employees to do more, the head of Q Group, Company Limited, Mohamed Ja, on Monday 12th, June 2023, presented three brand new vehicles to three hardworking staff of the company and also took the opportunity to address other staff members. While making the presentation and also addressing his staff members, Mohamed Ja thanked them for always putting the interest of the company first and said that QCEL is going to stay in Sierra Leone. He also elaborates on the gains and development the company had made so far in both the Gambia and Sierra Leone. And um, I'm glad that today we are um, three years into operation and we have proved ourselves in the country. We have proved wrong our competitors or people who felt that we would only stay for half a year. Some of them gave us one year. Uh, today we have proved them wrong. We are becoming stronger and stronger by the day. And uh, for that, I want to take the opportunity to thank Mr. JK, who is the CEO and uh, head of this company. Uh, and he has been really working very hard because you can see that in the beginning I used to be here every month or every few weeks. Now I stay for months without coming. It's because they make my job easy. Everybody is doing what he's supposed to do, you know? And when you do what you're supposed to do, then I, you know, concentrate on other things. So I want to also encourage them, all the managers, to also give opportunity to the young ones you know, to train them so that they also have a time to relax. You know, um, last week we launched the first 5G network in West Africa um, commercially and it was a great moment for us as a group because the President of the Republic of Gambia, all the ministers, all the dignities, MDs, you know, all came to share with us this joyful moment. And what made it more joyful is that our brothers also came from Sierra Leone um, to join. JK was there on your behalf, Prad was there, and also Emmanuel to join in the celebration on your behalf because we cannot get everybody in. But most importantly, the Minister of Information also, because of the election, he couldn't make it but he sent the Deputy Minister, Mr. Solomon, and also the Permanent Secretary. So you can see that they gave the event a, a big importance because he didn't send small people, he sent the people who are directly under him. And also at NATCOM, you know, they came in full force. I think NATCOM, the Chairman of NATCOM, Mr. Blaine, was there. The Director General of NATCOM, Kai TV, was there. Um, the Deputy Director General was supposed to come, but last minute he had an assignment, you know, so he couldn't make it. But the Head of Finance came, and the Head of Corporate also, uh, Admin, came. So you can see the importance, you know, of what you guys have done in this country. If you did not do what you're supposed to do, these people, however big this meeting will be in Gambia, they will not waste their time to come. Edward Nelson Pratt, one of the beneficiaries, who also doubles as the head of marketing and communication, QCL Sierra Leone, in his thank you message on behalf of his colleagues, thanked the management and staff of the Q Group for short a gesture. He also admonished other staff members to put more effort and take the company as their own. This is not new because it's a testament to what he said, you know, in 2019. Uh, most of the schemes there in the Gambia. Uh, what is replicated here. When we paid a visit over, most of the things, the places we went, it's his own vision to bring those things here in the country. So it's not something that is super, super new, but he's somebody with his word. When he said, I will do this, I will do this. And a couple of weeks ago, we somebody left also the call center who was dedicated, yeah? Ramatulai. My speech also to my colleagues was, be the next Ramatulai. So it's the same thing, take ownership. You can be me, of course the next I hope will be somebody as well for you. So copy and then do the best and take the business as we've had. The business is ours, it's 
his own vision, the business is going to stay in Sierra And when we say we innovate, we know, um, innovate and inspire others to follow, there is also another tagline that says Salon Pride. So his vision is to go to sell here and then move to another. But then who is going to move outside? We're going to stay here and take ownership. Yaya Jadama, the head of Admi and Human Resource, also thanked the head of Key Group, Mohamed Ja, and called on other staff members to be patient and also trust the process of the company. One of the most important things that I keep emphasizing on whenever I have discourse with staff and most of my circulars to the staff, whenever I'm closing my remarks, I always put one word that is patience and trust the process. And I believe this is, has been really working. For the last three months, if you check since December 31st, 2022, there was an announcement made by the group chairman that this company will focus more on training for 2023. He called the year, year of training. But nevertheless, two people traveled to China less than three months ago, and each of these employees, the company has spent more than $100,000 on training for each other. Anana Jajo, the group head of customer care, in her short statement, thank all staff members for the tremendous effort they have done to grow the company in the country and encourage them to do more. But I'm always proud to be here because we have a very strong team here. And um, like you said, this beautiful one, I was asking him, can I stay and keep one of them? <laughs> So um, I think as a team we can do a lot. Um, so I am um, encouraging everyone to work hard. I'm sure the ones this time that are getting these cars um, deserve it, deserve it. And I am sure others also deserve it. So let's work hard together. Be number one, that is the purpose. So we need to work together and lead in what we do. Um, give customer service you know help know our product because we are all marketers we, are, we should all market and know our product very well so we can you know sustain but um, I want to thank the whole management the whole staff here um, for making it happen and the CEO for great inside the chairman yeah and um, CEO is not here but I'm sure he would have said the same thing that he is very happy Reporting for Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam.